This is the lock picking lawyer. Hugo Martel was recently in the DC area and he dropped off a couple of locks for me, saved some international postage from Canada. The first is this fab half euro profile cylinder. Looks like a five pinner, no key. Next we have a ASEC, a six pin half euro with some pretty nice bidding. Next we have a a Hippopix challenge lock that says very hard <laughs> scratched into it and I believe it between the Ruswin D1 keyway which is always pretty tricky and this really nasty bidding I have a funny feeling it lives up to its billing and then finally we have got a an ASA 600 cylinder so we are gonna try this this fab I happen to know what kind of pins are in here because I've I've played with a few of these locks in the past. And uh, they contain some tapered pins. There we go. That aren't traditional security pins, but they certainly make picking pretty tricky. Make you pick each chamber at least a few times. Now the trick to these these tapered pins is applying pretty good tension. You can see I'm actually bending that 50 thousandths pry bar and just go through methodically on the stack and it doesn't matter how many times you set it, some of these pins you might set three or four times. So let's get started. One's loose, two's loose. Got to click out of three, nothing from four, nothing on five. Okay, two is binding. I'm sorry, number one is binding. He's, there we go, got a click out of him. Click out of two, nothing on three, four, click out of five. Another click out of one, nothing on two, click out of three, four, five, nothing there. Another click out of one. That's actually probably the fastest I've ever picked it. Um, the key to these locks is heavy tension. And if you don't use heavy tension, what will happen is you'll end up picking these, uh, each of these pins, probably about three times more than you might otherwise do it. Now I already took the clip off the back. It had one of those uh, all the way around crimped on clips that you actually have to cut to get off. So I've already done that. And let's see if we can get this guy apart. Okay, let's dump these key pins out. Standard, 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 and standard. Looks like all of them have a bit of a taper at the top, but not too much. At least not compared to what I believe these driver pins will look like. Yep. Got the really long tapers on, on the first driver pin. Same for two. Same on three. Yep, looks like all of these pins are gonna be the same. Okay, and I see these driver pins are silver in color. Uh, let's check them out to see if they are anti-drill pins. And no. Not sure what they're made of, but they are not hardened steel. So let's take a close look at these pins. Okay, all standard key pins, but the driver pins are what's really interesting. You can see that there are long tapers, probably about a third the length of the pin on each of them. And what that does is it makes you feel like you're setting a driver pin, but in fact you have a lot more of it. So what you have to do is go through the stack several times. A lot of these pins you're gonna have to set two, three, or four times, but there's nothing tricky about it. Just be methodical and they will open for you pretty quickly.
So that's all I have for you on the FAB Half Euro Profile Cylinder. Hugo, thanks a lot for sending this to me. To everyone else, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.